kind of thought it would be good to wear something different. There we go. Now it looks like it's a different day. <laughs> and it's apparently really cold in our it's house. It's stormy in here. <laughs> Okay, laundry. Talking about laundry. Talking about laundry. Go. So, aside from cleaning the bathroom, laundry is definitely my least favorite chore. Um, mostly because it never, ever, ever stops. Ever. Never. Ever. And there's always a mountain of it. And it's just, like, so all-consuming. Because you insist that the kids not run naked like they want to. <sighs> and you're not going to run naked like I want you to. <laughs> so, anyway. Laundry. Um, we've tried out a lot of different um, laundry systems over the last few years trying to not die under a mountain la of laundry um, and really found that different seasons require different systems and um, so a couple of thing, couple of things that we've tried out that we really liked. The first one that I think was like a huge game changer for us was when we started doing um, the one load a day and everybody had their own basket. It was a game changer for me to do it that way because that's when we started having the kids put their own laundry away. And I think that was the big factor in um, starting to not feel like laundry was killing me. Was because you're in charge of put of the kids putting the laundry away. Right, or have been in the past. Right. Okay. Um. So what we did before was um, we had a shelf in the closet with um, a single basket for every person in the family mm -hmm. so and we color coded them so that the little guys especially could know where to put their own dirty laundry mm -hmm. there was a pink one for a girl and a blue one and then a purple one and so on it was adorable and beautiful all at the same time um, so the kids would immediately after they took their clothes off their clothes were supposed to go right into the dirty laundry bin that's already all sorted out and then one day a week would be for each person's laundry so each of the kids had their own laundry day, and then there was a day for my clothes, and a day for his clothes, and a day for um, sheets and towels and whatnot. Um, so when it comes out of the laundry um, dryer, it's all ready sorted, and you just have ready to put sorted. it away. It, um, why? I don't know why. Yes. I don't know why you would put it away. You just live out of your basket. That's your basket now. Well, except then your basket has... Where does your basket belong? In the middle of the floor, and then people are tripping over it, and then they dump it out. Because those are Inevitably, only options. Inevitably, they dump it out. Are to either put it in the middle of the floor, <laughs> or to have an insane system that doesn't work. So, anyway, what I discovered at that point was that um, the big thing that really kind of was a game changer for me, one, the kids put their way their own laundry, but two, the way that they put their own laundry away that makes it so they can do that mm -hmm. is that kids' clothes don't have to be folded. That was something that was like completely liberating. And also, adults' clothes don't need to be folded, which is extremely liberating. If you have you a can nice do whatever you want like this, with yours. <laughs> no one can see your wrinkly clothes. Mine all gets hung up, but... <laughs> There's yeah. no reason... No reason to fold kids' clothes, mm -hmm. for sure. Especially little socks. I mean, matching socks is like the most ridiculous. Socks are stupid. Socks are stupid. We at this point, every child in the house gets their own type of sock. We have oh one boy who has just white socks. One girl who has just pink socks. The white and socks work for basket. everybody. In an ideal world, you take your your oldest kid. You buy them as many white socks <laughs> as they as they could possibly imagine, and everybody just wears their socks. Well, the yes, in an ideal world, if they were all for the, the same shorter gender, kids, you wear them as pants. <laughs> <laughs> baby socks are one thing that is totally different, and babies they don't they don't make baby socks. Babies don't need all socks. Different. Um, baby toes get cold. That's why they have the onesies. You'd need a cloth bag for a, a baby. <laughs> you need a big, huge socks for the rest of the kids. <laughs> okay, so if you want to dress your I kids cute totally too, totally run an orphanage. <laughs> <laughs> so there, is, there does need to be a difference at some point between the little kid socks and the big kid socks, or the boy socks and the girl socks. But that really can be based on the ages and the genders of the kids. We do have girls who share socks because their feet are close enough in size, and we probably will soon have boys who share socks. But boy socks are shaped different than girl socks because of the what? shoes they wear. Wait a what? Well, boy socks can come up higher. Girl socks with their little like flat shoes—they need to have like little booty type. K, 
Okay. So, sometimes the socks can be different, but they don't have to be matched, for sure. The closer you get to Wendy's system, the uh, more headache you're going to have. The closer <laughs> you get to my system, the more you're going to look like you're running an asylum, and <laughs> your life will be simplified. But your kids might look like they're homeless. A little bit. Or homeschooled. <laughs> Same thing. Back to the laundry. Back to the Back laundry, to the laundry baskets. The kids will have their basket. Mm -hmm. Then they put their basket away as soon as it comes out of the laundry. Mm -hmm. And um, we keep it super simple by every kid just has a dresser with three drawers. So right. everybody's dresser system is the same. They just have to sort it into the three piles. The jammies go in the bottom. The bottoms go in the middle drawer. And the tops go in the top. You know what a dresser is? I know the dressers. It's a wooden laundry basket. Okay. You could just have a laundry basket or just have your drawers be your laundry basket. Have you ever tried to find two socks in a basket full of laundry? And then the kids so, can't find it. The key is the kids being independent to be able to get dressed themselves, put their laundry away and get dressed themselves. So if the laundry putting away is simple and the way that it's put away is simple that they can find the things they're looking for if everything's all jumbled together kids have a harder time finding what they're looking for and then they're gonna come say mom I can't find my whatever shorts without the pockets because my soccer coach says I have to have shorts mm -hmm. with no pockets and mom is gonna help you find those and dad's gonna say wear something else when you get down to the bottom of the basket <laughs> you'll find them and you can wear them that day okay so, so your system is cranky. your ideal system is there's one Big basket for the whole family. Right. So the problem, the only prop drawback with the single basket per person thing was that that means one person's load gets done once a week. So then when that seven year old gets that week's worth of laundry and they have to put it all away at once, then they think it's going to take forever and they're going to die because it's going to take me an hour to put away this laundry it's a and it's of torture. And I just don't like dying on that hill. Okay. It's not worth it to me. Oh, well, I'm, I'm not the one so. near any of the, those hills. So, <laughs> so you, you can have your system. I so. say you could train them to put it away faster. I, I could put their clothes away very quickly. I think I could train them to do it quickly as well. Maybe. It, if I had the opportunity or the time to work with them more on one-on-one -on -one to do that. That might be something we do at this point. Maybe if you didn't have so many kids, you could work with them one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. At this point, our current system, and this is what we found was the compromise to the the week's worth of laundry is going to take me my whole life to put away and I'm going to die, Right. is we have one basket in the hall and it's the central basket for everybody's clothes. There are a couple exceptions, but mostly everything goes in there. Um, and so at the Every, what are the exceptions? Um, anything that doesn't get put in the dryer. So my clothes go in a separate basket. Okay. But I have put my own clothes away. So. Um, and towels and sheets. Towels and sheets we do in a separate load just because they're bulky. Yeah. And it's just a pain to and have them And you feel in. like towels should be washed every... Whenever they smell bad. Which is, okay, after like really a, a once. Yeah. One, one after one well, use. Well... If it were just me using the towel, then that wouldn't be the case. Okay. But what happens is I use the towel and somebody else uses the towel and somebody else uses the towel. Towels. And in a 24 hour period, that towel just got used like four times and sat on the floor to collect water. That's true. That too. somebody else left escaping out of the shower. Fair there. enough. So, you know, once a day, if it's being used that much in a day, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we have the central laundry basket. The kids all in the morning, they get changed. All the jammies go in there at the end of the day at night they get changed all the clothes go in there and so it collects a 24 hours worth of clothes jamin in the first thing in the morning runs the wash then runs the dryer so that load comes out he brings it to the kids and the, the three oldest kids in the morning no so i take the laundry i put it in the the washing machine in the morning while the kids are cleaning up Mm -hmm. Then around lunchtime, I throw it in the dryer mm. and then I just leave it there. And the yeah. next morning, when the kids wake up and they're going through their routine, whatever is in the dryer, that's what they're putting away. Right. And I take another load, I put it in the washer, mm -hmm. and then later on, I'll put it in the dryer. So, so a load, load is getting 
a, a one load is getting washed and dried in a day, and the kids get a f complete load of clean laundry to put away in a day. So they get the basket first thing in the morning, mm -hmm. right after they get dressed, as part of our morning routine. They get the basket, and they're, the big kids' job, three big kids, their job is to sort it all out. They bring me whatever doesn't belong in their drawers, so I get the baby stuff to put away, and then any towels or sheets, and they put all the rest of their own stuff away. And it's only 24 hours worth of laundry, so it's a pair of jammies and a shirt and pants, and they... And a uniform? Mm -hmm. Oh, sometimes a uniform. Yeah, I guess the soccer. If they mm -hmm. change their clothes more than once in a day, then it's more than one. But it's dirty. a small amount of clothing compared to a week's it's worth. Not a week's worth. That's so smart. it takes them just a few minutes to put away. We did recently poll them on if you could have only one day a week that you had to put away your clothes and it was a week's worth of clothes or if you could have to do it every single day but it was only one day's worth of clothes they all picked the I would rather have every day just a little bit so that's our current system and it works for us for right now absolutely yeah absolutely my Pre part of it is predictable and easy for me mm -hmm. and you feel like you're part of it it's predictable and works for you. Yeah. Knowing what's going to come, at, that really helps. Like knowing that we're going to have the same thing every day and there isn't going to be like a day we have to catch up with laundry and it's going to take overtake our whole afternoon or whatever. Um, that's really helpful. And there's a couple things like I, I anticipate that at some other seasons the laundry system is probably going to change again and think, think there's reasons why it changes. But... Like things to take into consideration generally are like um, stuff that has to get washed every day. When we're in soccer season, soccer socks constantly have to get washed and soccer shorts and that kind of thing. And so having the daily cycle where I know that that thing that I just put into the washer is going to come out really soon, that's really helpful so that I don't have to like go buy 10 pairs of soccer socks in order to, to survive the soccer season. That helps. And, and then just other like odd extenuating factors like the fact that the washer and dryer is in your workspace. And so that means that the time that we run the laundry kind of needs to revolve around your work schedule. So that's factor. So really like you have to evaluate what the factors are. If you live somewhere where you had to use a laundromat, for example, you would want a one day a week system. Yeah, in case you are, um you don't like to read and um, you didn't catch this on, on my post so the right way to sort laundry <laughs> you haven't even read my post <laughs> like why are say, you already laughing the right way to sort laundry the, as if we didn't know mine oh, is the wrong way <laughs> I'm sorry so the faster way which some people wouldn't say is the right way <laughs> apparently some people just really enjoy the process <laughs> So if you're one of those people, don't do this. But mm -hmm. you have three drawers. You're going to open the top drawer, you're going to open the bottom drawer. The top drawer is whatever, your socks, your underwear. So you just pick out a thing. Whatever's on top, don't go searching for socks. It's a horrible, horrible mm -hmm. idea. So you just pick, take something and you throw it at the drawer. If it goes in the middle drawer, it goes in a pile in front of all of the drawers. Mm -hmm. So you got your middle drawer pile, you got your top drawer, you got your bottom drawer. Mm -hmm. You just take whatever's on top, you just throw it. You just throw it, and then when you get down to the bottom, you slam your top and your bottom, you open up the middle, you throw it, dump all, it all in, dump it all in, close it up, and you're done. This, you taught the kids this? I yes. Think? Awesome. Yes, that's why they I do their that part. laundry in two minutes every morning. That's it. That's perfect. That's it. And that's because we don't use the system of just having one basket, and you kids wouldn't have to do any laundry at all, but... Mommy doesn't like that plan, is what I tell them. I thought two more things, actually. Real quick. What? I don't really tell them that's what mommy says. <laughs> Thank you. If you say anything negative about your wife in front of your kids, <laughs> you're an idiot and you don't deserve her. I don't care how fat or ugly she is, you don't deserve her. You are a horrible, horrible person. That is stuff that should only be saved for sharing with the entire world. Mm. Sorry, I interrupted you okay. <laughs> to talk about how great I am. You were saying something <laughs> practical. Oh, okay, so limiting the amount of clothing that kids have, um, because we have a room that four children sleep in, we gotta be able to fit four dressers in there. The dressers have to be small. They only have three drawers. 
So if your middle drawer where your pants go is full, you can't have any more pants. And so that is one way that we eliminate some, I mean, they're, the, again, with that one load of laundry every week, they maybe only have three or four or five pairs of pants, depending on the kid, um, because that's what's gonna fit in the drawer. And so you aren't gonna get to the point where you have two or three weeks worth of laundry to put away all at once because you actually don't have that many clothes. I'm liking so, your system more and more. Well, thanks. Okay. It's thought out. You had sure. one. You had one other thing. Oh, there are a few things that that get hung up of the girls. We do hang up, like I said, most of the stuffs in the in the drawers. But we do hang up like dressy dresses, and the, some of the boys like dress shirts. But again, they don't have very much of that because again, four kids in one room. One closet for four kids worth of stuff can't really fit. As far as the kids folding their own clothes, at some point, one of our kids decided they liked their clothes folded and really? preferred it that way. And so there is one of them and guess what that, that will that um, take the time. But That but, one takes the time for everything. Yes, it's true. Okay. But, but they prefer having their stuff more... Um, I think it's more of like when they get dressed in the morning, they want to be able to see all their options. And if they're all piled in, Oof. they can't see them. So sometimes they want to learn how to fold. And if they, I mean, then they get to learn that skill. And you that's know what your option them. is? That one that's on top, right there. <laughs> but Daddy, I don't like that one. Then let's throw that one it's away. Different let's have for boys only than options. For girls. Only options that you're always happy to see. Let's just only have clothes that you really, yeah. really like. If you have clothes you don't like, you don't want mm -hmm. as an option. We should throw no, it out. But it's not a, this, like, this a your liking thing. It's not a second thing no, 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 in the no. pile. It's not a liking thing. It's a matching thing. If you're wearing jeans and a t-shirt every day, it doesn't matter. But if you have a flower dress and you want the pink leggings that go with it, then you want to be able to see the options. Your brother is only wearing a diaper. Whatever <laughs> you wear is going to be a step up from that. You're going to look fantastic. <laughs> anyway. I think this is the part where you um, tell them in a believable tone to like and subscribe or something like that because when I say it it comes out all goofy <laughs> so it would really mean a lot to us <laughs> if you would like and subscribe to our videos below. below and comment and tell us which parts you like and which parts you disagree with and, and what I will other come back and troll all like. of your comments because <laughs> that's my favorite part of every YouTube channel that I'm a part of so that's what it comes out okay. like when I say it. Yeah. Your turn. So I, I was going to say like, subscribe, and also share with us your favorite laundry hacks that have made laundry more bearable in your house. I hate the term laundry hack. That okay. makes me... Laundry tips? Tips, sure. Laundry survival strategies. Wow, okay, yes. This is all clickbaity. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's no such thing as a hack. It's just all advice. Okay. Laundry advice. There's no, no... Share your laundry advice. Okay. Share your laundry advice. Good? That'll work. Okay.